Hey everyone, this is Tony Features Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a comprehensive overview of all the different hosting options for your WordPress website on DreamHost. Now, you think there would be just one way to host WordPress, but there are in fact three different hosting options for WordPress, including DreamPress, and each of these has between two and four individual plans to choose from. I get it, for someone who's not familiar with WordPress, it's really easy to become overwhelmed by all of these different hosting options and choose something that's either too much or too little for your website. And in addition to that, just because the most popular option for hosting WordPress on DreamHost is DreamPress, does that mean it's the best option for you? I've been a customer with DreamHost for over eight years now since 2013, so I'm making this video today to help you make the right decision for hosting your WordPress website with DreamHost. Let's have a look. All right guys, so we are all here because we want an affordable and reliable way to host a WordPress website. And for those of you who are not familiar with website hosting in general, I like to use the car analogy. You can have a really nice looking car on the outside, but if the engine isn't great, then the car becomes undrivable. Similarly, while your website is going to look the same no matter which hosting plan you choose, under the hood, things are going to be different. With DreamHost, you have three different options to choose from for hosting WordPress. You have shared hosting, managed hosting, and VPS hosting. In the most simple terms, shared hosting is ideal for those of you on a budget, managed hosting is great for WordPress newbies, and VPS hosting is built for high performance. We'll get into the details of each of these, but first let's start out with the low-hanging fruit and discuss the similarities between all of these DreamHost plans. Regardless of which plan you choose, you're going to get unlimited bandwidth, free SSL certificates that give you HTTPS, and 24-7 online customer support via chat. Now, like I said, if budget is your main concern, then the shared starter plan is going to be your best bet. For just $3.95 per month for the first year and then $6.99 per month after that, you get hosting for one WordPress website. Unfortunately, if you also need multiple email addresses, then each one of these is going to cost you an additional $1.67 per month. And that's when the shared unlimited plan starts to become an attractive option because not only do you have the ability to host unlimited websites with shared unlimited, but you also can create as many email addresses as you want for just $12.99 per month. Similarly with DreamHost's managed WordPress hosting, which is called DreamPress, you also get unlimited email hosting. DreamPress plans start at $16.95 per month and include hosting for one WordPress website. Now, there's a few reasons for the price difference here, and to understand why, it's important to fundamentally understand the difference between shared hosting and managed hosting. You see, with shared hosting, you are sharing critical resources like memory and CPU processing power with other websites on the same server. If one website sucks up all of these resources, your websites will suffer. On the other hand, DreamPress websites, and the VPS hosting option for that matter, have their own isolated resources. Additionally, with DreamPress, you also get specialized WordPress support, which is not available on the other plans, and this actually includes phone support as well. Again, if you're new to WordPress or even hosting websites in general, I would recommend that you subscribe to my channel and like and watch all of my videos, but also to consider a DreamPress plan so that you have access to that specialized WordPress support. As far as storage space is concerned, the DreamPress plans range from 30 gigabytes all the way up to 120 gigabytes. And to be honest, I run a dozen or so WordPress websites and the largest one is at most just a couple gigabytes in size. So most likely you won't need anywhere near this. Now at this point, it's worth pointing out that DreamPress comes with built-in cache, which is not available on the other hosting plans. So instead of dynamically generating a web page every time a user requests it, caching serves your web pages directly from memory, which significantly reduces the page load time, which is a very good thing. All DreamPress plans come with unlimited cached page views per month and a varying amount of uncached page views per month. These numbers are not hard limits, but rather recommendations. So don't assume that your website with 125,000 monthly page views, for example, needs DreamPress Plus because that's definitely not the case. And finally, we have the performance focused virtual private server plans or VPS for short. 
starting at $13.75 per month with a one-year commitment for the basic plan and going all the way up to $110 per month. These plans are created for developers who are familiar with the ins and outs of website hosting. Now, I don't want to paint the wrong picture here because DreamHost has built a great platform around these VPS servers, but the honest truth is that I see these plans as overpriced, especially when compared to Dream Compute, which is DreamHost's version of cloud computing. I think I'll stop there so I don't confuse anyone with this technically fourth option for hosting WordPress on DreamHost. Basically, the bottom line is if you want a high-performance website running WordPress, then I would recommend either checking out a VPS plan or Dream Compute, and that'll be an entirely different topic for another video. So there you have it. To summarize, I would recommend Shared Unlimited for the budget conscious with some amount of WordPress experience, DreamPress for the WordPress newbies out there, and either a VPS plan or Dream Compute for serious developers who need real performance. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe for more like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.